Hey everyone, welcome back to another Vertiva Tech Tip. Today we're going to be diving into the controversial Windows Recall feature for Windows 11 users. We're going to be covering what it is, what devices support it, how it's evolved due to the security concerns around it, and how to disable it if it's not for you or your business. But before we jump in, please consider liking and subscribing for more content like this. All right, let's jump in. First, let's talk about what Windows Recall actually is. Simply put, Windows Recall is a new feature for Windows 11 Copilot Plus enabled devices that captures screenshots of everything you do on your PC roughly every five seconds. You can then search a timeline of snapshots using natural language and neural processing to find websites you visited previously, videos you've watched a week ago, even items you were searching for on Amazon that you couldn't quite remember the name of. So that all sounds great, but why would I want to turn it off, you might ask? Well, since its original announcement in June 2024, Recall has been plagued with security concerns such as capturing bank account information, credit cards, passwords, pretty much anything Recall sees, it saves as screenshots on your PC. And while Microsoft has taken several steps to improve security by adding opt-in functionality, biometric encryption, and giving you more control over what you can filter out and restrict recall from seeing, let's face it, it's still not perfect and could become a major privacy nightmare for you and your company. So now that we've learned a little bit more about what recall is, let's understand how you can check to see if it's enabled and I'll teach you how you can disable it. To check if Windows Recall is enabled on your computer, follow these steps. Open the Start menu and search for CMD. Right click and click Run as Administrator. You can type the following command or you can copy and paste it from the video description and then hit Enter. Under Feature Information, Check the state area to verify if Windows Recall is enabled or disabled. In our case, it's set to enabled. If you decided that you want to disable Recall, type the following command, or again, you can copy and paste it directly from the video description. To verify that recall is actually disabled, you can rerun the first command again to check the feature status. If you've typed the command in correctly, the state will now reflect that the feature has been disabled. Note that if Windows Recall was being used on the device to save snapshots under the user's application data folder, these snapshots will be removed when the feature is set to disabled. To re-enable the feature, you can use the following command, or again, you can copy and paste it directly from the video description, paste it into your elevated command prompt window and press enter. If you're watching this video and you're an IT administrator managing multiple devices, you can also use group policy to disable Windows recall across your organization. Here's how. Open the start menu and open your group policy editor as an administrator. To do so, type in gpedit.msc, right-click, and click Run as Administrator. With the Group Policy Administrator open, navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Windows AI, and then select the setting Allow Recall to be Enabled. Double click, set the policy to disabled, and confirm your selection by clicking apply and OK or just OK. There are several other options available for configuration in this area that you may also want to change if you plan to enable recall at a later date. And that's it. Now that you know what Windows Recall is, why it exists, and how to disable it if it's not the right fit for you or your organization, you've got the tools in front of you to take those steps. 
If you have any questions or need help with managing your IT services or environment, Vertiva is a Microsoft Modern Work and Security Solutions partner, and we can help you on your maturation journey. You can contact us by emailing us at letstalk at vertiva.com or by visiting our website at www.virteva.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.